feel like you're nothing But you wanna be something Yeah But all you really need is hope I just want you to trust me If you wanna be something Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. Um, in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install the PlayStation 3 emulator on your PC and how to get it set up and easily play your favorite PlayStation 3 games on your PC easily and as well for free. Now, I want to give you guys a disclaimer that I am not going to be distributing any kind of software for PlayStation 3. I'm only going to be distributing and only sharing with you guys the emulator for running those games. You're going to have to find a way how to get the games yourself, and I would highly recommend you that do it legally. If you want to do it illegally, then do it at your own risk. But at the same time, it's pretty, pretty cool. Now, I don't have any games on my PC as of right now, and I really can't show you whether if it works or not because I really don't know the compatibility yes list yet. I know some, but not everything, but um, you, you'll get the idea. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you that. So I'm going to show you guys that I have the emulator installed, perfectly working, and everything's not going to it's not going to show me anything error any errors and you can see that i have the uh, my 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 um my specs are here i have everything like that and i already have like the firmware already installed um so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that so the first thing you want to do is when you first launch the app for the first time it's going to ask you, you this little welcome screen it's going to give you instructions on how basically give you tell you that you must install the PlayStation 3 firmware first before do anything and the reason this is just because for some odd reason it actually um um <coughs> has to use the PlayStation 3 firmware in order to run the games and emulate them because that's how, how, how it works. So what you want to do is first is close, you want to close this first and you want to download the PS3 firmware. If you want to know how to do that, just go here, let's go to your Google web browser and just type in PS3 firmware or you can put update either way. And it's going to take you to the this the PS3 update thing. And all you need to do is download, agree and download. It's going to download to your download folder. And I would highly recommend once you actually do that, you're going to need to do this. Let's go to, uh, da, 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 da. I think it's in this one. Um, I have to find where I placed the, um, the, the emulator app because I like to tend to put it into here you go so this is the folder that you're going to be presented when you do download the 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 the, the, the um the the emulator so how to download the emulator you need to go to your browser first and you need to do ps3 emulator ps3 not ps4 ps3 emulator there's going to be a website that's going to be called R rpcs3.net you're going to go and click download. It's going to download and it's going to ask you if you want to download for Linux or Windows. You want to download for for Windows. And once it starts, it should start downloading. Right now, we don't need it, so we already have it installed. So once it downloads, all you need to do is extract it. It's going to be in a folder, and all you need to do is install, is run it, and it should run as perfectly normal as like if you're if you were running like one of these things, and that's how pretty much it would will work. So when you go into actually app actual uh, folder, you're going to see all these these weird files. Now what you want to do is initially is you want to to move your 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 update full update for your PS3, which you see right here, into this folder. You don't necessarily have to put it into this folder, but I put it in this folder because it's much more organized, and you don't have to say why do I have this in here, and then you accidentally delete it, and you're pretty much screw up your PS3 PS3 emulator. So you want to make sure you have that. Once you have that in there, all you need to do is head over to the open the application. Um, if it opens. Open the application. It's going to give you this. If this gives you this, you can actually show do not show again. Um, and all you need to do is go up to the file tab right here. And you need to click install firmware. It's going to ask you where is it, where's the firmware. And once you select the firmware, which will be in the folder that you put the update in, it's going to start doing these this installation. Depending on how fast your computer is, it will depend on how fast the install process will be. 
So I tend to say I, I tried this on a low-end computer, and it took like pretty much about 10, 20 minutes. Um, for my this PC right now, I'm using um, it took probably about five, five, six minutes long or less, <coughs> and um. It should work. You can actually go ahead and just after once it installs, you should be able when you open it, you shouldn't see no error at all. Sometimes you will see an error during the process, but that's perfectly normal. But if every time you open the emulator app, you should not see anything beyond this except your specs and the actual, you know, up here, this name up here. You can look at TTY, but I don't know what TTY does. You can actually as well configure the configure the graphics to it. I would highly recommend if you are experienced with emulators, I would highly suggest editing this to your to your to your preference. But um, I heard that sometimes that editing this can as well make slow games slow slow the game down. So you can actually go ahead and um, um, be able to configure if the game is too slow, the game is too fast, the game is too choppy. You can edit all of there. You can change the game pads where basically you can con change the controller input. Um, you can change the bindings if you like. And it's really cool that you can do that. Um, emulation, you can start, pause, restart when you have the game open. And every time you have a game, you have to specifically put it in a folder where it's going to always search. So if you want to add, if you want to add a game, you basically will open the open a folder. You would have to make a folder of games. Usually, it would go in the full search first in the folder that all the files are. You can make a folder in there, or you can put HDD. I think it's dev HDD um, zero. You put game, and you would immediately. Um, you would immediately see your game pop up in here. It will tell you the name, the serial, the version of the game, the category of the game, if it's supported, if it has PlayStation Move supported, if it's supported or supported by resolutions. And the most important one that everyone needs to understand is compatibility. There are three different, there are multiple colors. Green is playable. Yellow, I believe it's playable, but it is some, but it, it's, it's, you can be, you can be at the game um, that way. Um, red, I think is not, yellow, I think it's yellow, yellow, orange, I forgot which one, but there is a compatibility list. Uh, I can see if you if, if a game does not load correctly, it will say eat, be, boot, failed, see, and it'll tell you the the um, the path of what failed, and you can basically just close the game. That's pretty much it. If you guys want to see, if you guys want to download all this, all this information will be in the description below. You can download the PS3 firmware in the description. You can download the actual application uh, in the in description and I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did enjoy this video I would highly suggest you guys give that a thumbs up I will be releasing another video for PS4 and play later, probably later today and you guys will get more information on that later in the in the evening but other than that thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video peace